All right, high school students, we are going to proceed to create our plaster hand sculpture. Now, what you're going to be doing is kind of coming up with a plan, an idea of what kind of hand um, sculpture you'd like to make. And you're basically, we're going to be using plaster bandage and bandaging up our hand to create some kind of a sculpture. Um, so you're going to be thinking about um, how you'd like your hand. How does, it, how does your hand represent you? In my case, I really enjoy painting. I um, formed my hand into the shape of, um, you know, using my hand with a paintbrush. Um, and then we'll be applying this plaster bandage sculpture to a base and painting it all up, adding maybe some props. Um, be thinking um, creatively on ideas. Uh, that would um, create this so that it represents you. Obviously, there we will not be doing any obscene gestures, but uh, think of something that um, would maybe um, speak something about you and how how you are. Okay, in my case, painting. So um, I'm going to set that aside. What you're going to be getting is a tray of water and some cut up plaster bandage. Now. Um, it is helpful to work with a partner and you may be, I will have some of it cut up, but of course this is a full class. So you just basically are going to be um, cutting them up into strips like this. The plaster bandage comes in a nice long roll. It's basically gauze bandage with some plaster um, um, infused in it. It's the stuff that is used for when you break your arm and they need to um, cast your arm. Um, it is now an art supply. So basically cut it up. You may also be needing to cut them up into even smaller pieces. When you're trying to work around fingers and small areas, you want small pieces. Now, like I said, we will be working together with a partner. Um, you can, I did my own hand here um, by myself, but um, it does help if you have if um, you've got somebody uh, in your corner working together. You help them; they help you. All right. So, um, and I am a, a kind of a hairless person, so I, this is not going to be a problem. But if you are somebody who is a little bit hairy uh, on your arms, I would suggest using just a little bit of Vaseline or lotion on your arm so that when we pull this off it doesn't quite pull off all your hair. Um, it has a tendency to do that. Okay, so you're going to figure out what kind of um, a hand gesture you're going to do. Form your hand into a fist. Maybe you're, you know, part of some sort of power, something like that, and decide how you want to do it. And basically you're just going to put the plaster bandage on your hand and you spread out that plaster a little bit. And you just kind of grab it, dip it, put it on. Spread the plaster. Dip it, put it on. Now I have find you do have to dip it and don't leave it in there because it does kind of lose some of its plaster and its, its um, plasterness if you just let it sit in the water. So. so just dip it right before you apply it. And you're going to be spreading this all over your hand in the form that you want. Now, you cannot completely cover your hand all together. Um, you do have to create this, and if you can see my example here, I have my hand in that position that I had before. I left open a whole space here of um, plaster. Okay, this is my escape route. Um, basically, you can do most of your hand, leave a full area open, okay, and then you can come back after you've taken it off your hand. Basically, you're going to be sitting here with your hand plastered, and just I would say probably 20. 30 minutes is good. It will be nice and hard and you don't want to take it off too soon because it does kind of lose its shape if it's still soft. Um, but you're going to have to sit here and wait a little while. So plan that out as we have our block schedule, um, how much time you have. Um, you want to be able to sit here for about a half hour with this plaster thing on your arm waiting for it to set up. Once it's set up, you can slip out your arm out of this. Um, this can be cut with scissors. 
so that you can get out a little bit more. Maybe you didn't leave enough escape hatch. Now this has been um, set apart. Now I can do a couple of things here. Um, I can dip and basically start to close that up again. Um, in this case, I may decide I'm going to make a piece like right here in the same shape there and just kind of hold it and decide, okay, I've got this piece here. Now once it's all dry, I'm going to stick it right in here. Or another option is, is to kind of create a kind of a patch. It kind of depends on if you're going to see it or not. Okay. And join that together. Okay. That's pretty much what I did here on this one is I uh, made us a, a separate piece and then attached them together um, with the plaster bandage. Okay. Like in here. So we're going to add plaster bandage, spread out that plaster. That's what's the good stuff there. Kind of smooth it out. Once you're all done, you can set it over there to dry and set up. We'll get some bases going. We'll glue it to the base and then we'll apply some acrylic paint to it to finish it up. Now, if you have something, I know I have had other students create, let's say you're really into, one girl was really into volleyball, she made her hand in this way, and then she took a basketball and coated it with um, like some Vaseline and then created around the basketball, at least part, part of the basketball or part of the volleyball, some of this plaster bandage. Created that so she had her hand palming the ball um, and it was a very nice interesting effect. You can look at some of my examples. I'll be showing some of those in class today and to begin to get your ideas. All right. If you have any questions, once the video is over, you can ask them. When we're all finished here, we'll put all these trays up, dump your water, sponge off the tables, and clean up in that fashion. All right, thank you.